hello and welcome back in this video we will look at how to add charge function to the application as usual all the codes are typed on the block side and the first step is to create a search form form will be called computer search form and the search will be performed on the computer model and we can search um, based on the computer name or the username of the model all right so you can add other search fields like if you want uh, to search based on the MAC address or the IP address all of them can be added in this field all right so copy this code and open forms.py paste it just below the computer form so in this form we will do um, only two fields we will want to search only um, with these two fields the computer name or the user's name you can add uh, any other field that you have in the model like if you want to search um, computers be, uh, based on the mac address or the location or any other field in the computer search form all right okay so this form that we created we have to import it in uh, the views the next step is to go to views and import this computer search form and the next step is to go to the views and import a form we just created by by typing a comma and then typing the computer search form import it in views to py so that we can use it um, in the computer list so this um search this search form i want it to appear in computer list that is the page right here this page i want to see a form just above this um table so that i can filter or search uh, um the objects in this database okay so next step is to have this form assigned in the computer list view so just after the query set or just below the query set um, paste this line form equals computer search form because that post the none all right and then we'll have to make so we in the context we have this form so that we can um, render it on the on the browser Okay, next is, um, so before pasting this other code, I'll jump to step number three and bring this form, copy this code and paste it in computer list view or the computer list um, template. So just below the, the title, I want the form to appear below this title, list of all computers. So just below the title, I'll press enter and paste um, this code right there. So fix the indentation so that it will be easy to troubleshoot. All right, okay, and make sure you copy that and then put it, if not, you will have an error because we want to use crispy right on our browser. Copy it and paste it um, on, the, on top of uh, this computer list page. So the CHRF token will add some security to the form. So this form will um, render the form that we created in forms.py on a browser. Like if I click refresh here, you can see we have the form appearing just below the title. If I click search, you can see Django is telling us that this field is required. This is because in the model, we didn't tell Django or we didn't tell our application to allow us to input something or allow us to leave this um, this field blank these two fields blank so you can see from computer name right down to location Django will always ask us to input something it will automatically validate these fields if you want to click save or search and these fields are empty you will have this message this field is required so to um, allow us to click on the search button without um, requiring those fields we'll have to add blank equals true on all of these okay for now I'll just put it on these two or I will deactivate the um, form validation for computer name and username save it and then I can now click search and Django will allow me to search um, 
without typing any parameter or any um, character in computer name or the username. So now if I want to search it, like let's say if I want to look at a computer with ARB, if I click search, nothing is happening because we don't have um, the condition that will do the search for us. Like if I come to computer list, we don't have if statement or the condition that will do the search if we click on the search button. So that's what this code is doing. This last, uh, this if request that method equal equal post. Like if you look at the form, the method is post. So now we 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 we're telling Django if the method is post, do this stuff. So I'll have to copy that and paste it in views.py right below this context. Paste it. So um, this um query set will be the updated or the new set of objects that are pulled out from the database and they will be rendered on the browser now if you scroll to the right you can see we have that filter computer name i contains whatever i put in here like if i type if i save this and if i go to the browser and type arb django will look at whatever i type in here and see if it has something that starts with arb it will not look for the exact match with that if i want to look at the exact match i have to say i exact so but i don't want to um, constrain myself to typing exactly what i want to search but i will allow the flexibility so that um whatever let's say i can just type the first few characters of a computer name or the username of the that particular computer and django should be able to find out um any object from the database that matches a R B. Now if I click search, you can see it is filtering out and the new query set will now be rendered on the browser. So this is how you do a search function. Now if I click, if I leave it blank and click search, you can see it will query out everything from the database and list it out for me. I can do search uh, by computer name or by username. Like let's say if I want to look for a username which is um, Baji and I can click search, you can say it will look for any username that has e a g j r e and list out all those objects and render them on the browser so this is how you do search function i hope you enjoyed this video if you do give us a like button if you have any question leave them in the comments below otherwise let's keep going